Welcome to another edition of Break It To Make It. Our competitors will be given a random object to bust open a hard to break thing. With cash on the line, who will come out on top? We're about to find out. Gotta do a good intro. Hi. It's Break It To Make It. The table is dirty, but I am fresh. I am ready for a mildly good time. It's time for me to pay my bills for the month. Brendan's electricity will depend on him breaking the water bear plush from VAT-19. Thanks. This is so soft. It's based on a tardigrade, only animal that we know of that can survive in the vacuum of space. If you look at it in the right angle, he kind of just feels like he's staring directly into your soul a little bit. People have said the same thing about me. Well, his mouth looks like an anus. What do you say about that? People have said the same thing about me. Let's see what I'm gonna destroy this indestructible creature with. Eight. Give me my tool. A small pair of hemostat forceps. Number five. Use this magnifying glass to find the creature's weakness. Oh! I got a 19. People always ask why it's called VAT-19. Let me just clear the air and tell you why. Cut the feed. So that's why it's called VAT-19. Now what is my item? For breaking your NDA, you get a tiny syringe. What the heck? Nothing very durable here. Oh, 14. Put it on the Petri dish. This always goes badly when I get plastic. We do have cheap gloves. No, I don't need gloves. It was this amateur hour? Ow. <laughs> 60 seconds, begin. Oh. Ow, it hurts so bad. God, maybe I can get rid of its creepy little legs. Then body shaming a microscopic creature. Kind of go through the belly of him a little bit, you know, kind of like you're in middle school. Oh, I can. Oh, oh, should I break this? It's literally the name of the show, so go for it. Whoa. Ah! This guy's pretty durable. God, this thing's doing nothing. I got this. Slice it like some steak. Is that how you slice steak? Ugh. I broke an eye, does that count? <laughs> Look at him, the bulldog out of no eye. Look at him. God. Oh, oh, got two eyes. Look, <laughs> that is terrifying. It's, a <laughs> it's just a butthole. <laughs> okay. This is not butthole to make it. Now it's time for round two. The heck? The call my kitty. Oh, I thought it was a hippo. Never mind, it's a cat. Classic mix up. Oh, I kind of like it. Very zen, very cute. Man, all the little cute things I'm getting. Oh, that Kyle doesn't want to destroy this. Kyle's one weakness is cats. You know anything about me, you know how much I love cats. I have a cat named Loki, but not as squishy as this one. 17, what the? It's a cat leash. 21, cat in a box, pencil and eraser duo. Strange. That's how you know it's from VAT-19. I grabbed a four. What the heck? <laughs> I like this. Got a 10. It's milk, but why is there chunks? Oh, it's expired. Oh. I'm not great at pet care. Now break. Should I bait him first? Nothing to it but to do it. I had a football coach in high school that said that. Shout out to Coach Hinkle. He's a great man. <laughs> I don't like this. Does Ariel think that milk is acid? Oh! Did you see that matrix dodge right there? Oh, let's go! No! No! Stop fighting peace of mind! Be broken like the rest of us! I'm so sorry, little buddy. Oh, grotesque. We're gonna have to censor this. This is so terrible. <laughs> it got on my leg! Get this paw off! It's too soft! <laughs> and I want some breaks, but we can't all be happy now, can we? Wait, wait, wait! Uh, can I still get money? Can I pay you in milk? <laughs> Hold that emotional breakdown, because we're heading to round three. Ooh, what is this? It's the Squishy Dumpling, a delicious looking stress toy from VAT-19. Ooh, satisfying. Mm. Oh. I look forward to breaking this. This is going to get me back in my groove. We need, a, we need a bigger one of these. We should get a cement mixer with giant balls. Number one. It's Chopstick Pencils, a takeout specialty from VAT-19. Oh, I should have known. Is it supposed to be broken? Oh. 
23. It's a freshly steamed box. Mariah, give me a tool, please. That is so cool, what is this? That's an audience suggestion from at Mariah Cosper, who wants to see the Toro Flux toy. Whoa, that is so dope. And if you wanna see your name in the game, email your suggestion to breaks at bat19.com. I got a nine. Oh, oh. Come on! It's the fortune cookie bath bomb. Which smells great. Ridiculous. Who's that bounced? Bounced. Bound. Editors, can you put that in text? I think that joke might read as text. That really bounced. Bow, 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 bounced. Now break! All right. <laughs> Let me see if I can just like kind of sandwich them in there. Oh, I'm strong. I mean, it'll smell good at least. <gasps> Maybe it'll work! But the... Oh, the anticipation you guys want it, don't you? Just work with me, you flux capacitor, whatever the hell you're called. You know there's no money to be made by ripping apart your own tool, right? Oh, wham, bam, thank you, Stan. Stan's the name of my neighbor. I always give him a sports slap and I say, wham, bam, thank you, Stan. Wait, no, I thought this would go right through. Oh, I'm gonna get covered. Booyah! Two more seconds, two more seconds. Ah! Oh! Oh! Well, is that the item that did that? Or was that Ben that did that? For breaking the rules, Ben has to wear the mitts of shame in the next round. Is this how Kyle feels every episode? Yes, but much stronger. Now it's time for round four. Oh, mushroom light. He's so smug. Look at him. He's just smug in the dark now. Seems pretty durable. Number two. Ooh, oh, the mighty carver. Carve up your turkey and look really cool doing it. Thirteen. A knife? All right, sixteen. You're just throwing a knife at me out here, okay. That's a pizza cutter. Winnie. What's my tool? A hacksaw. I like this. I like this very much. And I'd like to see some breaks. Begin! Um, oh. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> yeah, let's get some close. America. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm breaking this knife. Oh, sorry. Remember, you can find many of the items in this video at bat19.com. Now, back to the breaks. Gang, I don't know what's gonna happen with this one. Should I like go through the neck? Or is this the head? I don't know. You're the doctor. Uh, come on! Oh, oh, oh. Kind of like the cover of the original Halloween, but with a mushroom instead of a pumpkin. It's got a full cool scar. It's got a sick scar. Could I like uh, cut your hair, Jamie, and kind of get money like that? The last time someone cut my hair on camera, things did not go well. Get in there! Go on! Well, I don't know. Turn the light off. Let's see if it's working. I hit the camera. I believe I broke it though. Completely gutted him. There's nothing in there whatsoever. Brendan was the only one to bag the fearsome mushroom light, but let's see how our players fare in the lightning round. I was told to put this on. Which is never a good sign. What do we break in in a lightning fashion? <laughs> whoopee cushion? Oh, they're filled with stuff. That's right. You'll have to break five whoopee cushions filled with whipped cream. Let's get a tool. 15. Get a knife again. How about something more elegant? What, what the heck? heck? <sighs> Poop emoji pen. Number six. Oh. It's the Furpinator, a game of fart and burp sounds. What kind of sick individual finds enjoyment out of this? <laughs> right here. 18. What is this? The poop knife. A poop knife? What? So we caught up poop? Um. Yeah. Ariel pretending like she's never seen a poop knife before. 11. Come on, a fart ninja, I... That's right, it's a fart ninja, the motion activated fart machine from VAT19. Now break. Oh! 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 
Oh, God. Oh. Oh, all right, there's one. Oh, oh. It's right on the lens. Good thing we have professional lens cleaners on standby. Voila, a perfectly clean lens. Order new lens cleaners. Why isn't it going through? Nice. Yes! Oh! <laughs> Two down. Oh. 20 seconds. It was working really well until a couple seconds ago. Oh, boom. Oh, yes. It's so gross. Oh. All right, all right, one more, one more, one more. Ben's back on top. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna, I just was having too much fun with the foam. Drop that poop knife, Ariel. That is time. No. Drop it. Give me the poop knife. Do I have to come take it from you? No, I want the poop knife. Hey, Ariel? No. I gotta take it now. That's mine. Thank you. The fart round may be over, but you can still let her rip in the big money bonus round. Give me something big to make money in this round. Jamie, can I have a bonus? Round? Yes. Ah! What the heck? It's a giant ball of Crazy Aaron's magnetic thinking putty. Oh, this is magnetic putty? Good thing I'm not made of metal. Unlike Kyle. What am I doing with this guy? You're digging out a toy buried inside, which you must then break. And you'll get it out with this magnet. It's reaching for it. Whoa, whoa. Oh! I gotta get the item out of, out of this. 60 seconds starts now. There's no time. I'm gonna use it as like a shovel. Here. Did you put it in? Of course we did. <laughs> Order new putty stuffers. What is in there? This thing's massive. Oh, there she is. What is this? It's the world's smallest Atari, and it's fully playable when it's not covered in putty. That's fun. I see something. Oh, it's a tiny Rubik's Cube. That's so cute. Oh. What is that? Mini Yule Log. Brendan uncovered the Mini Yule Log, a tiny festive fireplace. I found something! Oh, oh, oh! It's a world's smallest view master! Goodbye. Just break! The holiday spirit cannot be broken, Brendan, but maybe try hitting it harder. Oh, it's still, look at that. This. I got this. The cube disagrees. Yeah, oh. I think I got it! I mean, that thing may be mini, it may be Yule, but it ain't a log no more. <laughs> That's pretty stupid. We'll definitely cut it from the video so you're not embarrassed. That'll do it. All the player's money goes to me. Wrestle for it out in the parking lot after work with me. Kyle.